know they say mini trucking is dead. It's live and in person here at Alter Metal. Body Positive Extended Cab, Azuzu, which was my first mini truck ever. Then you got a nice, nice single cab Mazda right here that I like it. I love the colors of this truck, man. This is this is a prime example of mini truck, man. Um, this is how we used to do them back in the day. But we just wanted to show you an example of mini truck is not dead. Go to our YouTube channel and you look up how to bag an OBS. It's this truck. But the thing is, it didn't look nothing like this after we bagged it. This truck was still multicolored, still had a lot of work to be done. It was a process. He stacked his money, brought it to Carport Custom. We bagged it, got it sitting on the ground. Then saved up his pennies and him and Justin Blanchard put one very nice paint job on this truck. He got him a new set of wheels. Uh, he went from 18s to 20s. I love the colors of this truck. They're actually going to take the color of the wheels, the gray, do a uh, pinstripe around the graphics. Man, I really think Phillips truck has come a long, long way. And when he gets done with this, man, this is, this truck's going to be a heavy hitter. It's a pretty sick truck. I think it's just nice to show you all the process and the update of a truck that's been on our channel since not quite day one, but we'll say about day three. gonna get invited to all the cool features so he woke us up before freaking sunrise this morning but it was all worth it because we got to come shoot this beautiful 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 truck named codeine <laughs> Play, 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 play
This is one low 85 C10. I love the two-tone color on this thing. This orange and white works amazing together. And look, look, just from here, you can't even see the face of the wheel on the back. All you see is lip. I'm not sure what size wheels and tires these are, and this ground is cold and a little damp, so I'm not crawling down there. I'm just gonna tell y'all, that's some big-ass wheels with some big-ass lips. They look like they'd be 26s from where I'm standing. I don't know. But man, the interior on this thing is great. A little bit of billet in there. Oh, a lot of a lot of bit of billet. I like the little cup holders in the seat. Those are pretty cool. Uh, you might hold a shot glass in there or 10 ounce beer, but uh, not that big gulp. You got to leave your Stanley cups at home, ladies. In the bed, real nice, simple deal. I don't know if that is the factory tubs that they just widened and raised. I like how they took the bed and used it as the notch cover so it still has all the grooves in it. What I also like about it is this thing still has the tailgate emblem that goes all the way across the tailgate, tail light, door handles and the keyholes, OG mirrors on it, corner markers in the fender, just a C10, just laid flat on the ground, bagged and bodied. We found what I think is one of the sickest rides here at Altered Metal. And guess what, guys? It's not even bag. I'm all about things on the ground. But this 67 Chevy has so much going on that I've looked at this truck probably 10 times this weekend. And every time I come over here, I find something different. Of course, you got the LS inside. That's not even what I'm worried about. I mean, look at, look at the radiator cover on this thing. I mean, even down to like the little bolts that they chose to fit this truck. And this thing has billet everything on it. It's got billet hood hinges. You come to the inside, the full column is billet. It's got billet paddle shifters. I've never seen billet paddle shifters. While we're in here, I wanna point out the center console. The center console, from what I heard, took roughly 70 hours to 3D print. Vents took like 30 hours to print. If you look up Resto Mod in the dictionary, if it don't have a picture of this truck, then they got it wrong. What I've heard is these are out of a newer Jeep. These mirrors are from a newer model Ford Mustang. These side pieces are out of some other vehicle. Garen climbed under this thing yesterday, and it's just as nice underneath as it is on top. Wheels fit it, wheels are clean. They match the truck perfectly. I also like what he done inside of the bed. He didn't do your typical wood slats. 
He did carbon fiber slats. I mean, just just the fuel hole, just the fuel hole alone is so clean. Then we get to the back, and you know, I looked at this thing a couple times, and I didn't notice it. No screw holes on the surrounds for the lights. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think honestly, this truck laid out on air would be wrong for it. I think it's perfect, just like it sits. It's a beautiful truck.